Welcome back. Expressions brings you portraits of local artists. KMTP values the arts and daily brings you classic art showcase. Express your support. With your contribution, at a premium membership level, KMTP will provide one caller with this wonderful piece of art. Right now we have Shui Ling Zhou. We will call her Ling for short. And here are the pieces you'll be donating today. Can you tell us a little bit about this piece on the left? Oh, yes. Uh, this piece, uh, basically, I painted in year 2000. I call it Snowy Village. Snowy Village. Mm -hmm. okay. And the last piece is called At the Monterey Wharf, which is, you know, our location. And I feel it's more meaningful for our Bay Area. Right. OK. So are they both at watercolors? Yeah, they are both watercolors, and uh, you can see at the beginning, this is the year 2000, and uh, also until that one, 2006, the color changed, and I feel that, you know, my imagination and the creative ideas and uh, through the color is different. Okay, so with a premium membership of $700, you will be eligible to own one of these wonderful paintings. They're both watercolors. They are already framed and uh, wonderfully put together. Just call us today at 415-777-3232 or visit our website at www.kmtp.tv. Mention Ling Zhou and you will be eligible to receive one of these wonderful watercolors. So Ling, you have a very interesting background. Your father was a highly respected and very well-known artist in China. Yes, he was one of the great Chinese artists, but sadly he was suddenly taken in an accident when I was very young. I see. Um, so you sort of started out in art as, in art as a very young child? Yes. Um, basically, when I was very young and uh, I was surrounded by the Chinese artists, uh -huh. especially some masters, they respect my father greatly right. and uh, they feel they felt they have uh, some responsibility for me to right. training me how to master the art right, in a right. very strict way. I see. I, see. I was a very young child. Uh -huh. I was only a child, you know, and uh, I feel I don't know how to describe myself and uh, I had a yet to develop my own skills right. and uh, also haven't built up my own expressions. Right, exactly, exactly. You have to have that sort of uh, wellspring to, to draw from. And yeah. when you're very young, that's not quite there yet. So you kind of put away art for a while? Yeah, at the age of 14 and uh, the high expectations, I cannot stand it any longer. So I decided to put down my brush, never paint it again. Okay. And uh, you're it definitely not the only person who's familiar with that feeling, believe me. A lot of people who start out young end up a little discouraged. And the most exciting thing about you is that you eventually came back to it. So in 1997, basically in Hong Kong Hanover, so a lot of Chinese students feel excited, so we oh, all try to support it. So I went to Hong Kong, and the major thing happened there to me. I met my husband, John Teachman. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. He, helps me to find my creativities again by supporting and encouraging me. Together we began to travel, searching out and admiring the greatest ma artist masterpieces for all the talent right, 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 in right, right. history and also, you know, to, you know, to many civilizations and also arrows, stuff like that. So. So the and uh, finally, finally, I just realized, I just realized that I just could not live without art, without doing art any longer. And that so, is, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the reason, you know, uh, I, it, it still took me for a while, oh, but finally, I restarted again in 2001, after we settled down in Silicon Valley, in Bay Area. But it's just so inspiring that you did come back to it. You found your way back. That passion could not be buried forever. And that is a lesson that we all can learn from. Um, I understand that you practice in, in a number. You've got some oils here. Um, do you have a favorite medium? Um, I love watercolors because, you know, the watercolor have a similar 
idea similar in expression for me. I mean, not to everybody else. To me, yeah. relate to Chinese paintings, see, which is you know I feel. I'm kind of afraid to touch anymore <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because of a childhood experience. Right, yeah, course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and all your painting because they're rich, they're thick, right. they're uh, bold. They have a um, you know texture. different different uh, texture, different feelings. Uh -huh. So I love them both. I that's the reason I continue painting both. Most of the people suggest to me, oh, you should only choose one. But to me, I can't. Right, and you can't, you cannot sort of confine your creativity. That's not what being an artist yeah, is about. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I love doing it, uh, using more water. Sometimes I try to, you know, paint some oil use by using the oil mediums. It's just different feeling. I, I love them both. But of course, I have a both frustrations uh, area f to me, too. That's the reason we all need to overcome. <laughs> right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And speaking of expressing your creativity in, a, in as many ways as you can, Remember that if you join us as a premium member for $700, you'll receive one of these wonderful watercolors by Shui Ling. Um, call us here at 415-777-3232 or visit our website at www.kmtp.tv.